Hello, my name is Natalie Bone. I'm head of the junior school at Sidcot School. Welcome to our virtual open day. Thank you for joining us today. Hopefully we will be able to give you a flavour of what life at Sidcot School is like and help you understand a little bit more about us and what your child would experience if they came to school here. Later on, I'll be joined by some members of my team and you will be asked, able to ask any questions that you have. So here at Sidcot Junior School, we are so conscious that the first experience of community life for children is when they are at school. And we are really passionate that this should be a superbly positive experience. Every decision that is taken here has the child at the centre. And we aim to give a very happy and positive experience for all of the children who come to school here. We have been described as a warm, friendly, nurturing and fun school. And it is my pleasure now to take you on a virtual tour. Hello and welcome to Sidcot Junior School. My name is Natalie Bone, I'm the head of the junior school and it is my pleasure to give you a tour. When you arrive at Sidcot Junior School, you'll be welcomed by our receptionist, who is your first point of contact for any questions you may have. Once you've made your way through reception, you will find yourself in our library and reading space. This room is at the middle of the school and provides a quiet place for our pupils to sit and read. The junior school is relatively small and easy to navigate. From our reception, the classrooms are located off two corridors. This means that all of our classrooms are bright spaces with direct access outside. The first and largest room you will find is our main hall. This is a bright, modern space that provides us with a place to meet up as a whole school. We hold our assemblies in here, as well as meeting for worship, where the children will spend time each week sitting in silence and reflecting. In contrast, this is also a space for some of our PE lessons and lots of our after-school activities. Our early years rooms are for our nursery and reception students. These rooms provide purpose-built facilities for our younger children. This even includes dedicated outdoor space with a vast array of toys and play equipment for our early year students to explore. As pupils progress through the school, they will move up to a new classroom each year. Each room provides all the facilities required for our pupils to access all the areas of the curriculum. On one hand, this includes interactive whiteboards in every room to make the learning experience as immersive as possible. And on the other hand, we have space and resources for when the students want to get a bit creative. Our after-school care facilities provide a place where children can be supervised once lessons and after-school activities have finished. Our children can join us for breakfast club at 7.45 in the morning and can stay for an evening meal until 6 p.m. The great outdoors is hugely important feature of everyday life at Sidcot Junior School and space is something we have in abundance. Immediately outside the classrooms is the junior school's play area. This is where the children enjoy their break time, playing games and using the play equipment. Beyond this area is the junior school playing field where pupils have some of their PE lessons and take part in sports fixtures. We feel it's really important that our children spend time outdoors and learn about the environment within which they live. Our children have access to the school allotments and will work with our school gardener to learn how to grow fruit and vegetables and take care of the land. They will also make use of the junior school's yurt. Our teachers use these facilities to bring their classes outside wherever possible. Throughout their time at the junior school, our children will make use of our on-site forest school every week. In a natural amphitheatre, surrounded by beech, pine, hazel and yew trees, our pupils witness the seasons changing and will investigate the subjects they learn in the classroom using hands-on activities that spark their imagination. The junior school sits on the edge of the main school campus. 
This means it enjoys the feel of a small, friendly community, but with the benefit of using the senior school facilities. This interaction with the students, staff and facilities in the senior school also helps to make the transition to big school a smooth one. The Sports Centre is an amazing facility that our children really enjoy. Junior school students use the Sports Centre for some of their games lessons and make use of the beautiful indoor swimming pool for their swimming lessons every week. The library in the senior school provides an alternative space for the children to have story time and also investigate their library sessions. Food at Sidcot is really important. The junior school pupils eat in the school refectory every day. All our food is prepared on site and wherever possible is organic and locally sourced. Our catering team work hard to provide our students an amazing choice of meals every day to make sure we cater for all our students' tastes and dietary requirements. That concludes our tour of the Junior School. I hope it's given you an idea of what life at Sidcot is like. If you'd like any more information, please don't hesitate to be in touch. I hope you enjoyed the tour of the school and seeing part of our beautiful campus that we are fortunate to enjoy. Here at Sidicott School, we are very much focused on our Quaker foundations and these values that Quakers have are very much interwoven into the practice of everything we do here with the children. It, shortly, we will show you a video regarding our learning wheel, which shows you how the Quaker values are intertwined with the teaching and learning. But our Quaker values go way beyond that. Quakers believe that every person is unique and should be equally valued. And we apply that in all situations, interactions and relationships. In the classroom and in sport and in extracurricular activities, we are looking for children to develop these personal character traits which we feel will equip them for their future life. Things like resilience, being thoughtful, having an outlook on the wider world and community around them are really important and these can be seen in action being developed in the classroom. An example of this might be in a maths lesson. We might be working on our resilience skills and developing those. We might use some really challenging maths to do that. But at the same time as getting better at the maths, we are also helping the children to learn how to stick at things and what to do when things are really, really challenging. I'd now like to introduce to you the Learning Wheel video, which will help you to understand more about how that works. Hope and imagination are the two most important qualities for children today. Hope so that they can change the world for the better, and imagination so that they can find ways to do so. At Sidcot, we live and learn adventurously, developing these qualities with a profound sense of purpose and respect for the individual and the world around us. We believe that education is so much more than learning facts and figures. It should develop character, encourage empathy, and enable students to realize their dreams. That's why we developed the Sidcot Learning Wheel, our way of putting as much emphasis on developing skills as acquiring knowledge. We use it every day in every classroom. You'll learn what really matters We'll inspire you to reach your academic potential while also developing lifelong skills. This will help you become a change maker who sees the world as it is and has the imagination, skills and qualities to make it what it could be. We will nurture your curiosity. We question and formulate. We debate and discuss. We link subjects together. We use our math skills and geography. We apply a creative eye to our scientific inquiry. It helps us see the whole picture. Collaboration is key. We work together to problem solve and create. We listen to understand. We develop empathy and kindness through working together. We celebrate everyone for who they are. We love being part of an international community. Whether it's outdoor learning, performing at the Edinburgh Fringe Festival, caving in the local hills, sharpening our debating skills, or taking care of the world around us. We have endless opportunities 
to really enjoy learning both now and in the future. The world is an exciting and quickly changing place. At SIDCOT, we're dedicated to making sure you're ready in body, mind and spirit for what lies ahead. If you're ready to live adventurously and learn to make a difference, contact us today. I hope you enjoyed the Learning Wheel video and that it's helped you to understand a little bit more about how Quaker values are embedded in the learning here at SIDCOT. I wanted to explain to you a little bit about our ethos and what we feel are the important elements that are in place at the junior school. The first is that we feel passionately that the junior school should be a place where there, there is the right environment for growth for the children. That very much starts with and comes down to the teachers that we have. And they are really dynamic and excited about learning and have a vast array of different methods to engage the children in learning and bring that alive for them. There are also loads of different opportunities, not just in the classroom, but also in sport and the fabulous extracurricular programme that we have on offer. Another really important aspect of our ethos is that we have realised how important it is for the children to be engaged in their learning. We want the children to have such energy for their learning and to be interested in it. And it's amazing, when I first joined the school, I was blown away by the contagious enthusiasm the children had for what they were learning about. And it is wonderful to see it coming from within them rather than being forced upon them. The way we do this is with quite a broad curriculum and we're really creative with what the children are going to learn. I'm also really proud to say we are a SATS-free zone. We don't feel these are of educational benefit for the children, more at all for monitoring schools. And they can provide such a stressful time for children and for parents as well. We do assess our children, however, so we know exactly how they are doing and what progression they are making. And we also are really passionate to provide appropriate stretch and challenge so children aren't bored or feeling like they've already covered ground that they don't need to again. We're looking for opportunities to ignite that excitement about their own learning at all times. You might have seen our strapline, which is living adventurously. And this is another really important aspect of SIDCOP. We want children to experience new things and try out all the opportunities that are on offer. But we really want them to have fun. We want them to enjoy their childhood and for that to be preserved well for them. Part of this, we found, really encourages them to ask questions, to speak up and let them know that their voice can be heard. And this is a really important part of our Quaker values. We also want them to be equipped with all of the skills that they need for their future lives. And we're not sure what their future will be, but we're confident that developing these character traits and experiencing the things they do here at SIDCOT with the support they receive will help them to meet their future. I wanted to let you know a little bit about what we learn here at SIDCOT. So we do follow quite a broad curriculum and we're always looking for new ways and creative ways to bring that learning alive for the children. The teachers are with the, their own classes for the majority of the time, but we are fortunate to have subject specialists who come in and teach the children in lots of different subjects, such as PE and games and sport. We've got specialist art teachers uh, and specialist music teachers. We also enjoy the language teachers from the senior school and children in the junior school will all get to learn French, German and Spanish and more often than not, Mandarin as well, throughout their time going through the junior school. We also study what we call Quaker Peace and Global Studies. And this is an opportunity for the children to learn about uh, wider communities, learn about themselves, citizenship, and the wider world. We also have an excellent emotional development programme for children to be equipped with the increasing mental health challenges they might face. Just time to discover more about themselves, increase their self-awareness and a chance to talk about this and learn about different strategies which they can use to support themselves in their lives going forward. I'm really pleased to introduce some pupils now who are going to let you know about their experience of SIDCOT.
the school just seemed really nice and welcoming. It seemed like a place that sort of you could go and feel safe at. Sidcot is a very accepting school and its values really st stood out to me and my family. Sidcot's way more like proactive and way more always on the move. The teachers are very polite and they like they help you through anything. You can talk to them at any time. Like as soon as you came in, everyone was just like, you've been there for ages. So Cot's the perfect size, I think, for any child and anybody could fit in here, no matter skin colour, gender, anything. I think Sidcot is different than other schools because it's Quaker and it shows you all the different values that a person should, slash people who don't believe it, shouldn't have. Other schools might be like, you can do your exams and then you go out, but Sidcot, I feel like, really teaches you something about life. Everyone just gets on and if you have a fallout with someone, then straight away you're just going to be friends again. I started in year three. It was different. I well, was really nervous when we first joined, but, but it was really nice and it, it settled, settled in quite quickly. Well, coming up from a different school, it was quite easy to fit in because most people here are extremely kind and accepting, including the teachers and the students, so it was very easy to fit in. And I made lots of friends and I'm still best friends with the best friend that I had in nursery. The teachers are really good. They normally have a sense of humour. They're really kind. The teachers at Sidcot are overall some of the best teachers I've had because I've been to two different schools in the past. But when I came to Sidcot, I really saw a difference in like the personality. With every lesson that they do, they always add a fun aspect to it. We love like doing lots of games and we'll all play it just because it puts it in our head and we then think about it for the rest of like the lesson. It's just every day is kind of a bit different and you have like a schedule so you know what you're in for every day but also you have the element of what are we doing today because they might switch it up a bit so that's really nice. In my old school, I always was not very confident in maths and I kind of gave up. And now I'm kind of in the uh, higher group of maths and I really enjoy it. English is my favourite. I like that you get the opportunity to basically be free with your writing. I like using descriptive words and stuff and the teachers love it when I do that. I like science and maths. I like solving problems and facing new consequences. There's always an improvement onto it. My favourite lesson is music, personally. My music teachers, the ones I've always had, are very encouraging. They love to make the lessons fun so that we're all engaged. And they will do it bit by bit so that we're not confused. At Sidcot, our outdoor facilities, we have things like a huge forest that we do forest school in. Uh, the forest school lessons were so fun and it's just huge. It's so big. It's always a completely new activity every week. You have no idea what you're going to do until you get there. In year three, we also get to choose our own tree that we get to give it a name and take care of it. I had a tree and he was very tall, so I decided to name him Tall Tim. We have fields that we can go run around in. We have PE normally outside. The sports I enjoy are netball, hockey, and athletics most. Like going into a quick school, I wasn't really sure what to expect. I had no clue what it was. I'd have to describe a Quaker school as always peaceful. But the Quaker meetings, it's really different to anything you've ever done. When So on Wednesday lunchtime, we gather in the hall, we all sit down in a circle. People bring in things to put in the middle of the circle that's special to us and to the theme of the week. In, in Quaker meeting, you the elders will talk about something and you just have to think about it. And it's quite nice to just be able to kind of think about your ideas and maybe share them. I'm actually a Quaker elder, so sometimes each week I might get to go up, ask a question, and then people can minister, say what they think in their head. 
another rule we have is that if anyone says something in the circle, it stays in the circle. So Quaker meeting is a very safe place for people to say things that they want. Fun. Fun. Welcoming. Lovely. Friendly. Amazing. Educational. Peaceful. Together. Interactional. Adventurous. Forgiving. And educational. Honestly, talking, I didn't choose this school for by myself. My son chose it. We had a gut feeling that it was the right place. It felt right. The surrounding countryside, the area to play, to run in. Sidcott's concern was to build the person, and then the education would follow on from the being a, a rounded individual, rather than worrying too much about exam results and everything else. We'd looked around um, a lot of other schools. The thing that bothered me, a, a couple of them, was that the teachers only spoke to me. But that was completely the opposite at Sidcott. One, one of the great things for me is the way that the teachers engage with the children. They clearly know who's who's the teacher and who's the child, but the conversations and the language is much more on a one-to-one a -one peer relationship basis. What I what I saw is in Sidcott, I saw that the kids are relaxed. They're not driven to learn, they're not, it's not a demand to learn, they're inspired to learn. When they had their taste days, they just came home literally bouncing off the walls. We couldn't get him out. Yeah, he was already, can I stay at the school now? I want to start the school now. He came running out and um, just said, this is my kind of place. You know, these, these are my people. Oh, settling in at Sidcott was amazing. As soon as he came there, he made very easy friends. Socialising and mixing with both girls and boys. Um, whilst at his old school, it was very much just about being with the boys, but actually it's much more um, mixed, which is fantastic. People is, are the most important uh, thing in, uh, in the school. Not only the equipment and all, not only the landscape, and not, but the people made the made the school. One of the things that um, that really surprised me um, when we first looked around Sidcott, you know, how good the performing arts facilities are. Um, they've got a brilliant little theatre uh, and they make the best use of, of the creative space. The payback in terms of the children's responsiveness and happiness is, I hadn't, I hadn't counted on that. So the surprise has been how well the children have reacted to it and how positive feedback they're getting from, from, from the school and their engagement and enjoyment from the daytime. So I think the standout thing is is the ethos. The theory of building a person and getting the right character I think is much more important than just heading, heading for exam grades. The teachers teach them in a way that they can really learn, they really understand. It's so different from a child just going through the motions of school to actually thrive. It, it's just wonderful to see. There's not a huge amounts of pressure piled on top of the kids. So they, you know, they have homework every night, but it's very, it seems very, very manageable. The pupils and kids that go there get to look at the broader things in life, not just thinking about it, but doing things and caring. And well, it, it's the Quaker values. I do love those as well. If you're thinking about sending your, your child here, first thing is get them on a taste of day. Once you've done it, you, you won't go back. Moving to a new school gave them the chance to reinvent themselves and be themselves and who they wanted to be. It's not just about the teaching, which of course is, is really important, but it's also about um, developing actual nice human beings. Our children get the bus uh, out to, to Sikot and uh, and for most people, they go, crikey, that adds an extra 45 minutes each day. How do your children cope with it? They love the bus. It's a community for them. So they're almost getting up in the morning early, willing to get on the bus. And so they come home just so engaged and happy when they get home as well. It's really into sport. He said he was very interested to see the sports facilities at Sidcott and meet the sports staff and the teachers. Just great and really inspiring. But the one that's probably the best example is fencing. Fencing has never, thing, never been a thing in our family. No one in our family has ever fenced and then ended up um, fencing in the national championships. That kind of nurturing of a, an idea that a child has and an inspiration has, has been really good. Learning, 
they just love to learn. They love their teachers. They love their classes. Um, they have a great group of friends and they're inspired to learn. I think they enjoy being inspired to learn. Hello, my name is Ian Kilpatrick. I'm the headmaster here at Sidcot. I hope you enjoyed those testimonials from our young people in the junior school. I always feel that they are the real stars of the show and I hope you enjoyed what they had to say about their experience in the junior school. You will be probably aware that we are a 3 to 18 school and therefore transitions are really important to us. And that main transition for most of our young people will be when they leave the junior school in year six and they join the senior school in year seven or third form as we call it. We work very hard to make sure that though that transition is as seamless as possible, to make sure that we are continuing the learning that's been established in the junior school and then developing it through the senior school curriculum. One of the ways we do this is through what we call our curriculum bridging days. And these are opportunities for our students in the junior school to work with those who are in the senior school. And we will theme those around various different subject areas, but give an opportunity for collaboration between the older children and the younger children. And the idea be behind that is that we both have uh, a sense of continuity, but also a sense of collaboration with the younger children helping the older children and vice versa. Thank you, Ian, for that. I thought it would be useful as well to give you a, a little insight into our typical school day uh, so you can understand what life is like here at Sidcot. The day starts at 7.45. Your children are welcome to attend Breakfast Club if you would like them to. Uh, and then children come into school from 8.30 for registration and then we kick off straight into lessons. The morning of each day is pretty heavily loaded with the core subjects, maths, English, geography, history, science, languages, and things like that. The children have a lovely break time in the morning where they can go outside and have a play. And we are into our food at Sidcot, so snacks are always readily available and drinks. Children have another lesson before our lunch time. And as we explained earlier on the tour, every day we take the junior school children over to the refectory. And it's a special time of the day where staff and the children can take the time to eat together and talk together. There's a really great playtime after lunch and then we have our afternoon lessons. The afternoons usually have slightly lighter activities such as swimming lessons, forest school, PE, games, different things like that. And we really like to get the children as active uh, and outside as much as possible and the weather allows. After school, we have a huge range of different after school activities which children can join. Most of them are free, some of them have a small charge if needed. But some of these are water polo, rookie lifeguards, relaxation club, judo, uh, knitting, even uh, art clubs, singing, you name it, dance. We usually have it prepared and ready for the children to opt into should they want to. They're welcome to go home as well though if they prefer. We also have an opportunity for the children to do their homework at school, we call that prep, and they can stay in for prep club too until a little bit later on. From 5.30 to 6, your children can stay at school for a meal uh, to save you the difficulty of cooking that when you might get home, uh, and they're very welcome to stay for that and play as well at the same time. So I really appreciate you sparing your time to learn more about Sidcot today. And straight after this session, you'll be able to click the link uh, that was sent to you in the invitation to this and join myself and different colleagues for any questions that you might have. As a parent myself, I can fully understand how vital it is to make the right choice for where to send your children to school. And I know how much that can influence and affect not only your children, but also your family and your family life. And I'd really welcome the chance to join with you on that exciting journey with yourselves and your children through their education and their life. Thank you once again. <laughs>